everybody, this is Jonathan with Curdos in Westchester County. I want to welcome you to another one of my videos where I highlight a specific appliance or perhaps an appliance package with the intention that whether you are a homeowner looking to do a reno or maybe swap one piece out, or maybe you are a trade person, and this will give you just a little bit of extra info and knowledge about appliances that can help you out with your clients. And of course, always knowing that I am here to help and you know how to hopefully get a hold of me. Um, today we're gonna to talk about the best-selling counter depth refrigerator that we have here at Curdos, and that is the Bosch series of counter depth fridges. We're going to kind of narrow it down specifically to the 800 series, because those are the ones that really move. Um, Bosch redid the, their refrigerators, their freestanding fridges, um, a number of years ago, and they've really made an interesting story inside the refrigerator, um, but we're gonna start on the exterior um, number one selling point of these things, the, they're just aesthetically, they're, I mean, can I say that a refrigerator is beautiful? Um, they are, I mean, they use a smudge proof stainless, it's clean, they give you flexibility in terms of you can do a traditional three door French door, you could, they now offer a four door with the top draw being either a freezer or a refrigerator, so it's basically a flex draw. Beautiful. They're going to offer you a version with handles. It's the typical Bosch handle with a little bit of a curve to it. But what they also did, which is really smart, is they're offering a version that has kind of like a pocket handle. So it's basically brand agnostic. It can go in any kitchen and you won't be like, oh, wow, those are the handles from such and such brand. It doesn't match my GE. It doesn't match my KitchenAid. No, they were very smart about this. And what I've actually seen with these counter depth fridges is that people not only are using them as part of like the four piece Bosch package, but what they're doing is they're either they're even using them in high end kitchens if they want to save a little bit of money. So they'll spend the money on the Viking stove or the Thermador or something like that. But what instead of spending up to $10,000 or, or more on a built in, they will use this Bosch, which is by the way, 36 wide and 72 tall as the refrigerator and they end up saving seven to $8,000 as opposed to getting a built-in. So anyway, that's the story about that. These fridges, by the way, price-wise, you're gonna, they're gonna be, um, depending on the model, they're gonna run from the low threes to the high threes. Again, depending on the setup. Um, the inside of the refrigerator is really where the story gets uh, enticing. You open up the doors, and first of all, you're gonna notice a broad stainless spine in the back of the refrigerator. More stainless steel is a good thing because if there's more stainless than there's plastic, the temperature is going to maintain consistently. Thus, you're going to use less electricity more than likely. And, and very important, it's going to negate odors, which can obviously build up in a refrigerator as most of you would know. Also, what they did is, instead of doing a water dispenser, ice dispenser outside the door, which they do when they're like 500 and 100 series fridges, they put the water dispenser inside the box of the refrigerator. So it's very easy to get water, and the beautiful thing about it is, being that it's not on the door, it does not impact storage. And also, as you may or may not know, when you put water or ice on a door externally, the chances that you are going to have a service problem go up exponentially. So this is going to be on the inside of the fridge, much like you see with the Whirlpool brand products. And another interesting thing that they did with the freezer is that they actually shrunk the size of the ice maker widthwise, and that allows now them to put a bin up top for more storage. So it's actually the freezer is a three level freezer, which is fantastic. Many of you have experienced pulling out the freezer and it's just one cavernous basket and you have to start messing around, looking for things. Oh wait, there's the meat from three years ago that we bought prior to the holidays. I mean, it's like, there's no way that things are going to be lost in the freezer anymore because of the three levels. It's easy to access things and it's just a much more ingenious way of apportioning the freezer. Here's another key point. What they did, and this is something that's very different from most counter depth refrigerators in the marketplace, is that the fridge uses two compressors. This is something that Sub-Zero became famous for throughout the decades. 
the compressor, there is a separate one for the freezer, a separate one for the fridge. So the air is not exchanged in between them. Why is that a good thing? It's more energy efficient, it's quieter, and if you don't exchange air between the freezer and the fridge, your ice cream and your ice cubes, for example, are not going to start smelling and tasting like the chicken tikka masala leftovers that have been in your fridge for two days, okay? So very important, no air exchange, and that is typically a feature that you're only going to find in premium built-in product. They brought it down to the freestanding, um, more you know, mid-level to upper mid-level price point and um, kudos to them for doing that. They have done an excellent, excellent job with these fridges and most importantly, they work. I have not had many service calls about these. There's been a few damages say on delivery, but that's not a manufacturing thing obviously. If there are service issues, you call us, have the clients call us and the nice thing about it is that Bosch and Thermador, they're brother sister company will send factory direct service to the house. So a guy or a gal is going to come to the house in a van or a truck with Bosch and Thermador on it, unless it's out of warranty, I'm seriously out of warranty. So they have service in the area. The fridges, they work. I, again, very limited problems with them, if any at all. I sell this as the third generation owner of a 76 year old business going on 77 years. I sell this product with the utmost confidence. If you have any questions, there is the email down below. Whether you're a trade person, you are a customer, you are a shopper, I'm here to help. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao.